Disney was delving into television cartoons for the first time in the 1980s, and they needed a hit theme song for their prime property, DuckTales. Woohoo! This is the story of the DuckTales theme song. Writer, composer, Mark Mueller. So the way I got involved was I was a songwriter, a staff writer over at MCA Universal, and I hadn't ever worked at Disney before, but I had a film manager also at the time named Stan Melander, and he wanted me to get introduced to the people at Disney. And uh, so the, everybody around town was hearing about this big Disney afternoon project that they were doing, and there was a lot of buzz about it, and everyone wanted to get on board. So he just sent me over there to uh, just as a meet and greet and uh, because there was a lot of interest. We didn't think I could actually get the gig, but I uh, went over there and I met with Chris Montan, who was the head of music. And Chris is fantastic. He, he was actually his own recording artist before he left and headed up Disney. And there was also Matt Walker there, who is still at Disney. And both these guys are like, incredible music guys they know all kinds of music but especially they know pop music and that was sort of what everybody was going for which is i guess why they wanted me to come in and uh meet with them because they didn't want it just to be like a little typical you know teeny bopper type song they really actually wanted a song that was sort of radio quality and written sort of smartly for radio. So that's why they were bringing in pop writers. And um, so I went in there and they gave me a rundown on what they wanted, but it wasn't, everything was done very seriously. You could tell they wanted this to be a major, major show and everything associated with it should be major too. So they were very specific. They told me that it had to work for animation. They told me all the things they wanted hits, which is why, like if you, the song that finally I did write starts out, you know, um, how does that song? I wrote it. I should remember this. Oh, life is like a hurricane here in Dr. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. They wanted lots of visual lyrics to animate to. So they were very careful about what they uh, wanted from the song. I was, told at least that it was going to be full of action and adventure and I can't uh, because it was a while ago I can't tell you but I mean probably race cars lasers aeroplanes I was given some of that and then I just thought of anything though I they had told me they might go back in history um and and that these these guys would do anything so that's why I did rewrite history and everything but they basically just what they wanted they told me was just energy 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 just give us lots to animate to but it was just about you know uh the characters and just that they were going to be just going full on all the time and anything you can give me that's why i tried to do like the, the, the danger and as i said i think that might have been an eisner suggestion to go to the bridge and sort of open it up in all honesty, I wrote it so quickly. I just went home. I really, like I said earlier, I didn't think really there was much shot of me getting the song. I just thought this was a, a great inter introduction to Disney. So I didn't, it, it was good in a, in, a, in a way. It was very freeing because I just thought, oh, I'm going to have fun and write this. And, and I was even... It, Things like, uh, not to quote myself, but, uh, you know, on lyrics like a hurricane and, and, and Duckburg and Duckblur, all those things are sort of a little looser than I might have done, but I was just having fun. No, those are my woohoos. Um, <laughs> that, again, came just from a, a loose writing situation where I was just sitting in my studio writing and and I... And, I just had the, you know, the DuckTales goes on the downbeat of the course. Uh, DuckTales every day. And I just had a hole there that sounded funny to me. You know, I knew I had the song, but I just needed something there. So I just made up 
that ooh, but no, it was just literally to fill a little space because I just was looking for a little hook there, and I wanted to cram as many hooks in there as I could, and so that's that's how that happened. Oh yeah, not ponytails or cottontails. That that was fun too. I was going, I was running out of kinds of tails, and um, <laughs> but I luckily came up with cottontails. Um, yes, so. Yeah, just all in all, I was just having fun with it, and and hopefully that came across in the track, and you know, and I think I wrote the thing in one morning, and it just felt right to me, so it it went very quickly, and so the process was very simple. I think it was literally a morning and a one pass type song, and so I went off and did a demo with, again because they wanted it radio, I used a friend of mine to sing it, who's an incredible singer named Jeff Passetto. And at the time, he was signed to, one of the first signed to Quincy Jones's new label, Quest. And he was a great writer and great singer. So he came in and did the vocal for me. Singer Jeff Passetto. I was also working in the studio producing, and I wrote the theme song to Spaceballs with Mel Brooks. So I was on kind of a roll. And then... Uh, Mark had written DuckTales for Disney, and he asked me to sing the demo. The demo was at MCA, and, uh, you know, we laughed a lot. I said, do you want me to sing it like a duck? You know, and all kinds of jokes went on. But uh, I basically sang it, just put my heart and soul into it as if it was, you know, a pop song. And, you know, he said he loved it, and I said, I hope you get it, because I'm sure there were other writers trying to get the theme song for DuckTales. I mean, I imagine hundreds. And so uh, it was nice to hear that Mark got the job. And uh, it was even nicer when they called me and said, we we like your demo so much. We want you to sing it. So would I be interested in singing DuckTales for the real theme song? And uh, I said, yeah, that'd be great. So I sang it not knowing what was going to happen, but then it became, you know, worldwide famous. They asked if, you know, we should get some background singers. And I was so used to doing all the backgrounds. I said, well, I, I think I can do them. So I did all the backgrounds as well. So the woohoo was just stacked me, you know, on top of each other, just coming up with the different parts and just adding them to it. And, and, you know, whoever mixed it, you know, did a nice job mixing it. Uh, I remember how high it was, you know, it was. You know, I was probably 35 at the time. So when I was singing Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, I was like, it modulates and it's like, Chip, 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 and you know, so it was, I remember struggling trying to hit the notes, but, you know, we we're in the studio, so you could punch in. So it worked out okay. But to sing that live, that would be difficult in the same key at this stage in my life. I mean, since I already sang the demo and they really liked it, I didn't get that many notes. Maybe when we went to the studio and it was being produced for the real thing, you know, they would they would have some suggestions. And I remember, you know, I tried to give them what they wanted, but I can't remember what they were. But they would say, you know, can you put a little more emphasis on danger? You know, and I'd say, OK, no problem. You know, so. It w- it went really quick. I mean, it, it wasn't like an all-day thing. We knocked it out in a couple hours. It went really smooth. But I had already sang it, so I knew the song, and they did it in the same key. And and, it, and it's really high. It's actually a very high song. I mean, I can still sing that song. The Chippendales one's even higher, but DuckTales, I can still hit. And, you know, and I'd add a little rasp to it someplace, and they would say, you know, that rasp, we don't want the rasp. Can you clean it up? So I would sing it, and it would sound younger. Because I kind of sing bluesy. And so they, when they wanted those high notes to be clearer, I wouldn't put any rasp in it. and they, That's how they wanted it. So when I hear DuckTales, I go, wow, I sound like a little kid. Now, I wasn't, I was 35, but still, I sounded really young. And, uh, The rest is history. I actually sang, Mark had written another song called Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. 
And I, I also got the theme song to that, too. So I sang both of those. It all was happening very quick. They had this big block coming out called Disney Afternoon. And I, I, I think suddenly they were to the stage where they had to get the songs written really quickly. So it was so quickly after I got DuckTales that suddenly they said, well, we're doing this other one, Chip and Dales. And I don't know if they had had other people doing it or if they just liked what I had just done. So they just threw that at me quick. That one I don't remember as well because it really was so quick. There was a lot of stuff going on here. They were real excited about this. And it was uh, the same thing. They gave me sort of a little mini Bible that these guys were little sleuths. And um, so that's why I, in that song, I did that. The sort of the sort of sneaking around by boom, 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 boom. Boom, you know, just to make it a little bit like they were little sleuths looking for things and tried to give it an atmospheric feel that way. That was sort of a little Sherlock Holmesy feeling. And he wrote another one. He wrote another one. I'm sorry, uh, called uh, Winnie and the Gummies. It's called Unbearable Fun, and that was an afternoon song where the Winnie and the Pooh and then the Gummy Bears came on. So it was a theme for both cartoons called Unbearable Fun, and Mark wrote that as well. So I just kind of fell into it, and, you know, I loved doing it. It was a lot of fun. And Of course, I've been writing all these years and putting my own records out, and I have a band called Little Fish that we play live now, you know, two or three times a week. A place like Disney makes it pretty special because – they really do care about this stuff. I mean, that's one thing I came away with. I mean, they they just do not approach it lightly. They get you the best people. They only want the best, and and it makes you lift your game. Uh, and so uh, that's why they've had such success and have such a history of great songs. Mark Muller and I used to joke around because it got so popular. We said we should dress like ducks and tour the country, you know, singing, singing DuckTales and Chippendales Rescue Rangers. And we would laugh about it, but we probably should have done it. We probably should, you know, could have had a good permission from Disney and everything, but I still think that kids would love it. Um, a lot of people have uh, said that the song is quite catchy. And, um, oh, I remember one time I was, uh, at my dentist and, uh, <laughs> and he was sort of a dentist who liked, you know, people in showbiz. And, and so he always asked me what I'm working on. And so one time I told him, oh, I just wrote DuckTales and he had a drill in my mouth and, uh, you know, I didn't go in DuckTales and, uh, <laughs> and then he says, I hate that song. My kids play it all along. I can't get it out of my brain. And here's this guy with the drill in my mouth telling me he hated his song. <laughs> they hated the song. But, you know, generally I got a very good response. My daughter's 26 and all her college friends knew of it. And, you know, so many people used to come up to me and say, oh, this is the guy who sang DuckTales. It just fascinates me. But, yes, yeah, it became very popular. That around 30 years old and a little bit less they're very they grew up on it every day and i was thrilled you know when the residuals came in for being on network television every day too yeah i i mean yeah it 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 is it is amazing how these things have stuck i got to say beyond anything i would have ever dreamed when i was just sitting writing this fun little song but i guess it's cuz you're writing for children too that it's it does become part of their childhood and people I really strongly identify with it. I mean, I go on YouTube to this day and there's, it's really fun for me because I, every month or two, I'll just check in and somebody else has done their version or a parody. There are, you know, soul versions, there are hard rock versions, there are acapella versions. <laughs> there was, I just saw a new one is a, a Polish guitar school has uh, like 20 kids are playing ducktails on their guitars in Poland so it, it's been a, a crazy ride and really fun 
Life is like a hurricane. Duckbird, race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duckbird. Might solve a mystery. Or rewrite history. Ducktails. Everybody's out there making ducktails. Today, to watch me.